Hello everyone, welcome to Harshi e class. I am Rani. Today we will solve exercise 3.2 which is given in class 6 mathematics chapter 3 playing with numbers. Question number 1. What is the sum of any two odd numbers? Sum of any two odd numbers. If we add any two odd numbers, we will get an even number. For example, 3 plus 5 is equals to 8. Here, 3 is an odd number and 5 is also an odd number. 3 plus 5 is equals to 8, which is a even number. One more example, 5 plus 11. 5 and 11 both are odd numbers. Sum of these two odd numbers is 16, an even number. So, the sum of any two odd numbers is an even number. B1. What is the sum of any two even numbers? If we add any two even numbers, we will get the sum an even number only. 12 plus 6. Here 12 and 6. Both are even numbers. 12 plus 6 is equals to 18, which is an even number. 20 plus 4. 20. 4. Both are even numbers. 20 plus 4 is equals to 24. Sum of these two numbers is 24 which is an even number. So, the sum of any two even numbers are also an even number. Question number 2 state whether the following statements are true or false. A1. The sum of three odd numbers is even. The sum of 3 odd numbers is even. Let's check by adding 3 odd numbers. 3 plus 5 plus 7. 3 plus 5, 8. 8 plus 7, 15. Which is an odd number. So, this statement is false. Sum of 2 odd numbers is even. Not 3 odd numbers. B1. The sum of 2 odd numbers and 1 even number is even. The sum of two odd numbers and one even number. 3 plus 7 plus 2. 3 plus 7, 10. 10 plus 2, 12. It is an even number. So, it is true. C1. The product of three odd numbers is odd. The product of three odd numbers. Product means multiplication. Multiply any three odd numbers. 5, 3 and 7. Three odd numbers. 5 threes are 15. 15 sevens are 105. Which is an odd number. It is true. If an even number is divided by 2, the quotient is always odd. It is a false statement. For example, an even number take 16. Let's divide it with 2. 2 8s are 16. 0 reminder. Question is an even number, not odd number. So D1 false. E. All prime numbers are odd. It is a wrong statement because there is one even prime number that is 2. 2 is an even prime number. F. Prime numbers do not have any factors. It is also a false statement because prime numbers have factors that is 1 and the number itself. Every prime number has two factors 1 and the number itself. So that is a false statement. G. Sum of two prime numbers is always even. Sum of two prime numbers is always even. It's false. Because we know that 2 is also a prime number and 3 also an a prime number. 2 plus 3 is equals to 5, which is an odd number. So it is a false statement. H. 2 is the only prime number. It's true. 2 is the only prime number. Only even prime number. I. All even numbers are composite numbers. It's a false statement. Because 2 is also an even number, but still it is a prime number. 
the only even prime number is 2 so it is a false statement j the product of two even numbers is always even two even numbers 12 and 8 product of 12 and 8 is 96 12 weights are 96 which is an even number it is a true statement here is the list of prime numbers which comes between 1 to 100 because the uh, next questions third fourth and fifth questions are based on prime numbers only let's check the list of prime numbers which comes between 1 to 100 there are total 25 prime numbers are there between 1 to 100 third question the numbers 13 and 31 are prime numbers both these numbers have same digits 1 and 3 find such pairs of prime numbers up to 100 up to 100 here 13 and 31 already given in the question next the numbers are forming with the same digits but their places are different 17 17 17 17 17 and 71 17 and 71 next one 37 37 and 73 one more pair is that one more pair is 79 and 97 79 7 and 9 two digits are there 9 and 7 so 1771 37 73 79 and 97 these numbers have same digits four write down separately the prime and composite numbers less than 20 less than 20 we know that one is neither prime nor composite so first we will write the list of prime numbers those are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19. Remaining all are composite numbers. Composite number starts from 4, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 14, 15, 16, 18. Question number 5. What is the greatest prime number? between 1 and 10 the prime numbers which comes between 1 and 10 are 2 3 5 7 here the greatest prime number is 7 the greatest prime number between 1 and 10 is 7 sixth question express the following as the sum of two odd primes a1 44 44 is a composite number we need to express this composite number as the sum of two odd prime numbers we know that except two remaining all prime numbers are odd numbers only we can write it as 3 plus 41 3 plus 41 41 is also a prime number and 3 also a prime number or we can write it as 37 plus 7 both are prime numbers b1 36 36 we can write this 36 as 5 plus 31 5 and 31 both are prime numbers and also 23 plus 13 sum of 23 and 13 also 36 23 and 13 both are prime numbers 24 24 we can write it as 7 plus 17 7 plus 17 is equals to 24 7 and 17 both are prime numbers and uh, one more option is that 19 plus 5 19 and 5 both are prime numbers 19 plus 5 is equals to 24 18 number 18 7 plus 11 7 and 11 both are odd numbers odd prime numbers sum of 7 and 11 is equals to 18 one more option is that we can write it as 13 plus 5 
13 and 5 both are odd prime numbers. 13 plus 5 is equals to 18. We can express them in these ways. Seventh question. Give three pairs of prime numbers whose difference is 2. Here the prime numbers which have the difference of 2. We call those numbers as twin primes. The prime numbers which have difference of 2. We call them twin primes. For example, we know that the 3 and 5. 3 and 5 both are prime numbers. The difference between these two numbers is 2. Difference between these two numbers is 2. So it is a pair of twin primes. In this way we need to write any 3. In the question they are asking to write any 3 pairs of twin primes. If you see there are total 8 pairs of twin primes comes between 1 to 100. 8 pairs of twin primes come between 1 to 100. Those are 3 and 5. 3 and 5 both are prime numbers and the difference between them is 2. Next 5 and 7. 5 and 7 both are prime numbers. The difference between these two numbers also 2. So they are also twin primes. 11 and 13 difference is 2. 17 and 19 both are prime numbers and the difference here also 2. 29 and 31. 41 and 43, 59 and 61, 71 and 73. Remember, there are total 8 pairs of twin primes. 8 pairs of twin primes are there between 1 to 100. Twin primes are there between 1 to 100. Eighth question, which of the following numbers are prime? A, 23. 23. 23, it has only two factors. Those are 1 and the number itself. 1 and 23. So, it is a prime number. 23 is a prime number. B, 51. 51, it is completely divisible by 3. Completely divisible by 3. Here the factors of 51 are 1, 51 so 1 and the number itself are the factors. We know that. And it is also divisible by 3. 3, 17 so. 3, 17 so. 3, 1 so 3. 2. 3, 7 so 21. 0. 3, 17 so 51. It has four factors, so it is not a prime number. C, 37. 37, the factors of 37 are 1 and the number itself, so it is a prime number. D, 26. 26 is an even number. We know that there is only one even prime number that is 2. Remaining all even numbers are composite number. So, 26 is not a prime number. Write 7 consecutive composite numbers less than 100. So that there is no prime number between them. Write 7 consecutive composite numbers less than 100. Consecutive composite numbers. Consecutive means the numbers which comes in an order. So, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. These are the 7 consecutive composite numbers and also less than 100. These numbers are less than 100. There is no prime number between them. There is no prime number between them. Tenth question, express each of the following numbers as the sum of three odd primes. A1, 21. 21. We need to write that. We need to write any three prime numbers. If we add those three prime numbers, their sum should be 21. 21. 
we can write it as 3 plus 7 plus 11 3 7 and 11 all these three are odd prime numbers 3 plus 7 is equals to 10 10 plus 11 21 b 31 31 31 we can write as 3 plus 11 3 plus 11 is equals to 14 14 plus 17 is equals to 31 c 53 53 we can write it as 13 plus 17 13 plus 17 is 30 plus 23 that is 53 13 17 23 all these three are odd prime numbers d 61 61 is sum of 19 29 and 13 19 plus 29 is equals to 48 plus 13 61 11th question write five pairs of prime numbers less than 20 whose sum is divisible by 5 here the prime numbers less than 20 are 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 and 19 these are the prime numbers which are less than 20 now hint 3 plus 7 is equals to 10 we need to add any two prime numbers so that their sum should be divisible by 5 we know that the numbers which are ending with 5 are 0 5 are 0 are completely divisible by 5 so here we can write as 2 plus 3 2 plus 3 is equals to 5 5 ones are 5 it is divisible by 5 next 2 plus 13 2 plus 13 is equals to 15 15 also divisible by 5 5 plus 5 is equals to 10 5 plus 5 here sum of we need to express it as a pair of prime numbers it may be repetition we can repeat the numbers also 5 plus 5 is equals to 10 it is divisible by 5 next 3 plus 17 is equals to 20 20 5 fours are 20 20 is divisible by 5 13 plus 7 also 20 in this way we can write the pairs of prime numbers which are completely divisible by 5 12 fill in the blanks a a number which has only two factors is called a a number which has only two factors we call it a prime number b a number which has more than two factors those numbers are called composite numbers c one is neither one is neither prime nor composite d the smallest prime number is the smallest prime number is 2 the smallest composite number is the smallest composite number is 4 the smallest even number is the smallest even number is 2 thanks for watching like share and subscribe to my channel